We are in Outlook 2019, and let's take a look at how we can set up the out-of-office reply. So if you're going to be out of the office, you'll need to know how to let people know that you'll be out of the office. So let's go ahead and click on that file menu at the top. Click on where it says Automatic Replies under Info, and we can see the Send Automatic Replies option. So we have the option here to check the box for specific dates, or you can just say, Let's just have it always uh, on by unchecking the box, and it'll always get an automatic reply. But let's just assume you only want it on for maybe a couple of weeks, so we'll check the box, saying only send this message during this time frame. So the start time is going to automatically be the day that you're on, but you can say, hey, I'm not, I'm not taking off yet until uh, the 30th. And then I'll be back somewhere around the 13th. And you can say the time of day I'll be leaving will be one in the morning i got to catch an early flight and then i'll be back at six o'clock on that friday all right so you've got two options here one is for inside your organization and one is for outside so if you only want email sent to people on the inside your organization then you can fill this part out you can also click on the outside my organization and you can leave the box check that says auto reply or you can uncheck so you don't get that option. So people on the outside will not get the message, but inside they will, or vice versa. So let's go ahead and say, yep, we want outside people as well. And from here, we've got the I'm out of town for two weeks is automatically filled in for you, but you can go ahead and customize that if you want. You can also highlight that and change the uh, text. You can be super fancy, change the size of the font if you want, the color. Uh, things like that. So once you have it the way you want it to look, then you can go ahead and click OK. You also have some options here, so some rules. So you can add a rule. There you go. You can say only from certain people. So you can say from, and you could say from a group of people such as sales, or you can say from individual people such as John. So if I decide I want to say only the sales team is going to get this message if it's sent you know, from them, then that will uh, allow me to uh, not send an automatic reply to everyone. So you can also do some other things here, perform additional uh, options here if you want. You can click and you can check any one of those that makes sense to you. I'll go ahead and cancel that because we don't want to add any rules. We just want this to go to everybody, both inside and outside my organization. And when we're all done, we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, if, as long as you have a, uh, an ending time here, you don't have to come back in here and turn this off. But if you don't have the, the box checked, then when you come back, you will need to come back in and change this to do not send automatic replies. Otherwise, people will continue to get it even though you're back in the office. So let's go ahead and click OK. We're all set up for automatic replies. So uh, that way, uh, when people send to us, they will get the reply that we set up.